Darla, are you kidding me? It's the 25th. It's your payday, right? Where is the money? Answer my call, now. Don't ignore your mother. Sorry, Mom. My payday changed to the 15th. So? So I can't transfer the money right away. Are you serious? It's still more than half a month away. Do you think I can wait that long? How can we live without your money? I mean, I know you have some savings in your bank. Am I right? Stop giving me stupid excuses and send me the money ASAP. I'm sorry, Mom. If I send the money now, I can't make ends meet. I don't give a shit. Did you forget about Nicole? She's still in high school. It would be a pity if we couldn't pay for her tuition. Oh, by the way, Nicole and I are going on a trip around June, and we need 1,000 US dollars. So that's another 1,000 dollars on top of the usual $1,500. Make sure you transfer the money. If you don't transfer the money by tomorrow, you know what's going to happen. Okay. But I have to pay my student loans too. I can't pay that much, Mom. Shut up. Don't make excuses. I told you to work right after you finish high school. You decided to go to college on your own, not me. Stop being so selfish. You should think about your family more. I'm sorry. If you keep making stupid excuses and not sending the money, you know what will happen to Pearl, right? Please don't raise your hand to Pearl. Then make sure you send the money tomorrow morning. Okay, Mom. I call her Mom, but she is my stepmother. Her name is Julie. Nicole is my half-sister, and Pearl is my blood-related sister. My father died in an accident when I became a working adult. Since then, Pearl and I have been treated very differently by Mom. Julie only cared for her daughter, Nicole. She used up all the money that my father left for us. When that money ran out, she began to threaten Pearl's safety to support her financially. And then, when Pearl was about to graduate from junior high school, an opportunity came to us. Sis, it's me, Pearl. I need to talk to you. Pearl, I've been waiting for you to message me, but to call my company and ask for my contact info? That was bold of you. Good thing I remembered the name of your company. It's so easy to look it up on the internet. Why didn't I think of it before? <laughs> I was worried about your boss finding out what I did. Is everything fine? Yeah, don't worry. He understood what was going on. Besides, that boss transferred the phone call to me. Oh, I see. I'm glad he's a kind man. Please thank your boss. Yeah, sure. Anyway, is something wrong? Um, about that... I'm always here for you, and you know that. Tell me what's wrong. Mom doesn't want me to go to college. What? She told me I had to work after I graduated high school. Mom said she knows someone who owns a nightclub, and she already talked to the owner about me. She said I should work there as soon as I graduate from high school. At a nightclub? Is she serious? I blame myself for being away from you. If I had known she would treat you like this, I would have never left Mom's house. I wouldn't have gone so far away to get a job either. Well, I guess it is what it is. What happened to Dad was sudden, too. You went to that college because you wanted to get the dream job that you got now, right? So please don't blame yourself. It's not your fault at all. It's all Mom's fault. Pearl, I appreciate you. And I'm sorry. So, I can't take it anymore. I'm going to leave this house, too. What? I don't care if I can't go to college, but I'll find a job on my own. I don't want to work at that nightclub. Pearl. She always prioritizes Nicole, and there's nothing new about it. But I just don't understand why we have to be treated like this. After spending all the money that Dad left for us, and now she's forcing you to support her financially? It's just too much, you know? Even though you don't have to pay rent at the company dormitory, you still need money. She's the worst human being. More like some kind of evil. I know that you don't even want to give her a penny, right, sis? But if I don't give her the money, she will hurt you. Well, I will tell you now, sis. Lately, she abused me for no reason. 
What? That's terrible. Why did she do that? So please come to my graduation ceremony, sis. Yeah, of course. I will be there. It's on June 15th, right? Yes, and also, Mom and Nicole are traveling that day. Oh, really? You're not going to tell them you're coming to the ceremony, right? Yeah, if I tell them, they'll say it's a waste of money. So that's our only chance. Let's work together and run away from those scumbags. We should just abandon them and live our own happy life. Totally. Let's do it. I'll do my best until then. We can do it together. Yeah, just hold on tight. I don't want to be just a kid being protected. I'm sure Dad is watching and supporting us. Yes, he's always on our side, Pearl. I just realized that I should stand up for myself too. I have to be strong, just like you. We can do this. Just in case, let's delete these messages. They don't know that I got your contact info. It would be a big problem if they ever found out. Yeah, that's true. I'm sorry for all the trouble. No problem. See you at the graduation ceremony. Yeah, see you there, sis. Since we are nine years apart, I always wanted to protect her at all costs. But it seems she has grown up more strongly than I had expected. Pearl helped me to step forward with my life. Just before graduation, I have prepared everything she needs before she moves in with me. And finally, her graduation ceremony went off without a hitch. Darla, it's already the 16th. You already got paid, right? Where is the money? Answer me now, you ungrateful bitch! Hey, I'm sorry for the late reply, Julie. Excuse me? Julie? I am your mother. Show some respect. What kind of attitude is that? Huh? First of all, I don't consider you as my mother. What? Oh, yeah. You still want to act like that? I'm so pissed off. I think I should give Pearl some bruises. Ha ha ha. Darla, I know you did this. Where is Pearl? Almost all her stuff in the room is gone. Yes. Pearl's stuff has been moved out by my friend. What? I took her to my place after the graduation ceremony. She will not be returning there. What? What the hell are you talking about? Pearl is going to work for a friend of mine starting tomorrow. Bring her back now. No, she's going to college. So please turn that down. We've been talking about her dream college for a long time. Anyways, it's none of your business, Julie. Stop talking nonsense. You should be the one to stop talking nonsense. Excuse me? Pearl is with me now. So your stupid blackmail doesn't work. We don't have to deal with your insanity anymore. What the hell? We will never get involved with you ever again. Are you kidding me? You're going to abandon your mother and your precious sister? We are your family. Do you think you can talk like that to your family? I only have one mother, the one who gave birth to me. Also, my precious sister is only Pearl. You guys are just strangers. How can you act like a mother after treating us so badly? I'm questioning your sanity. If that's the case, I'll go to your office. And you know what I'm going to do? I will tell them that you are a piece of shit who wants to abandon her mother and sister. Oh, really? Do you know where I work? Of course. It's the manufacturing company near the college you went to, right? No, I changed my job a long time ago. Actually, that company went bankrupt shortly after I started working. <laughs> well, I got a new job right away, but dad passed away right after that. And things got so hectic that I forgot to tell anyone but Pearl. What? Is that so? I moved to a different place to live because of my new job. I didn't tell you this either because I know you don't care. Well, I'm glad it turned out okay either way. If I had told you, I'm sure you would do something crazy. Also, I've gone through the procedures with the authorities to make sure that you will not know where I live. What? What are you talking about? In other words, I'm not going to send a single penny to you guys. What? 
What about Nicole's tuition? What about her living expenses? I don't know. Pearl and I finally got our freedom from the toxic life with our stepmother. My old classmate from town told me that they are in a pitiful situation after that. Nicole dropped out of high school because she couldn't pay her tuition. She is now forced by her mom to work a part-time job. On the other hand, Julie is not working at all. Her relationship with Nicole has become strained. And then about Pearl, she is now living with her uncle's family, who helped us with our escape plan. Also, for various reasons, she did not make it to college admission. That year, however, she got into her dream college after a year. She is now living a happy student life. Pearl, who bravely stood up by herself, deserves all the happiness in the world, and I am so proud of her. I cannot thank my uncle and his wife enough. As for me, I met the love of my life at my office. He used to be my boss and we are going to get married soon. I will build a happy family that I always dreamed about. Hey mom, I've been trying to contact you but you're not answering. I just saw the mail you sent me. Does this mean, can you explain it? Oh, you finally got it? I don't have to explain anything, dear. It says exactly what it says. I want you to divorce my son. That's all. Divorce? I'm pregnant with Daniel's child. I can't even reach him now. Can we at least talk about this first? Why do you need to talk? I've already sent you the divorce papers that he filled out. Also, I've sent you tons of pictures of Daniel and his new girlfriend. You saw that too, right? That beautiful young lady is his new soon-to-be wife. You should accept the divorce and let him be happy. Oh lord, you're too obsessed with him, you know? That's too much. How can I accept this one-sided divorce? It's a personal problem between a husband and a wife, so please let's discuss it properly. You said you were going back to your parents' home to have a baby. While you're there, he already started his new family, you know. A new life with a new, beautiful young lady. Don't let his happiness get in the way. It can't be true. Why, why would he do that? Oh dear. Please don't blame my son. Instead, you should blame yourself. It's your fault that he cheated on you, you know. What? What did I do? You kept using morning sickness as an excuse. You didn't take care of Daniel at all. He was anxious, under the pressure of becoming a father for the first time. And you couldn't even sense it. So, it's all your fault. Get it? Of course he will dump a cold wife like that. That doesn't mean he could cheat on me. Besides, I feel the same way about the pressure of becoming parents for the first time. In my case, I told you that I had such severe morning sickness that I had to go to the hospital several times. You know that, don't you, Mom? That doesn't mean it's not okay to take care of my poor son. He needs love and comfort all the time. More importantly, Daniel is the youngest and the eldest son. The two older sisters are already married. You know what I mean? Huh? What are you trying to say? Stella, your baby is a girl, right? We want a boy to be our heir. We don't want a girl. An heir? What kind of tradition is in this generation? Besides, when I told you that I was pregnant, you said you'd be happy with either gender. You said that, right? Are you saying that was a lie? I was just being superficial with you at that time. Of course I really want a baby boy. It's just obvious, you know? But when you said it was a girl, I was so disappointed. You're already over 30 years old, right? So Daniel and I talked it over. And we concluded that it would be better to start over with a young woman. What about the baby? Raise her on your own. Are you serious? Daniel is the father. Is he trying to escape from his responsibility? I don't think that's the right word, honey. Of course, he will take responsibility. I'll pay alimony and child support. Just divorce him ASAP. It's for Daniel's sake. Just because the baby was a girl, Daniel cheated on me and got another girlfriend. You invited her to the house while I was away. And instead of coming in to see me in person, he sent the divorce papers with me through you. So this is your explanation? Well, pretty much. This is all for Daniel's sake. I hope you understand. Fine. At this point, I don't understand it at all. But please, give me some time to think about it. Is there anything to think about? All you have to do is submit that divorce paper. I need to think about my life with my baby. And I'd like to talk to my parents about it too. Oh my goodness. You're so spoiled that you can't even decide on your own. Do you need mommy and daddy to make a decision? Jesus. I was right about the divorce. How could you even say that? Your son can't even talk to me face to face. Instead, he asks you to talk to me? It's not the same. It's a totally different situation. 
What are you talking about? Anyway, I'll need some time to think about it. My belly's starting to hurt, so if you'll excuse me. Okay, fine. Just make up your mind as soon as possible. Oh, also, you have to move your stuff out of the house. I feel bad for the new soon-to-be wife, you know? Hey, Stella. Any updates? It's been two weeks. You can't just ignore important things like this. Oh, I was just about to send a message. I'm sorry I was having a baby so I didn't get back to you until now. Oh, really? Thanks to the stress someone put on me, I went into labor earlier than my due date. Since then, I've been in the hospital here for a while. Things have been so crazy here, so... What? Don't make it sound like it's my fault. You're so rude. But me and the baby are fine now, so don't worry. A sweet, cute baby was born. Okay, so... About the divorce papers, when are you going to submit them? About that, I've discussed it with my parents. I've decided to accept the divorce. I don't think I could build a happy family with him. I don't care what you think. When will you file for divorce? Answer the question. There's also the matter of alimony and child support. I would like to speak with Daniel with my lawyer. I will be in the hospital for a while too. A lawyer? I've asked for the lawyer who specializes in divorce. I'm sure you'll be hearing from her soon. I already talked to her, and she'll discuss the terms of the divorce on behalf of me. Once both parties agree, I'll write the divorce papers and submit them. That's too much trouble. I wish you could just submit the divorce paper now. Oh, well, if you will accept a divorce, that's good. I guess I don't have a choice. I will wait then. So I'll just have to wait to hear from this lawyer, right? Yes, she's the best lawyer. I'm putting my trust in her. Please take her opinion as my decisions and take your time. I'll need to hear from Daniel himself. I don't mind if you attend the meeting, but please make sure that Daniel and the girlfriend will attend the meeting. Okay. Whatever. I'm sorry, it's almost time to breastfeed, so if you'll excuse me. Hello, Mom. My lawyer told me that she was headed to Daniel and his girlfriend's place, so please take care of this. What? I didn't get any message from the lawyer. Well, okay, I'll take care of it. I just want to end this stupid divorce process so that the new wife can have a baby boy as our heir. I can't wait. Yeah, I agree. That's why I've asked your daughter to represent me. What? The lawyer is my eldest daughter? Why did you do that? When I was looking for a lawyer, I remembered that your eldest daughter was a lawyer. So I asked her for advice. She told me she would take my case even though she was very busy. She was so nice to me and I'm very grateful. You know that Daniel is scared of his sister. Normally, the lawyer doesn't charge the family members in such cases, but she was very angry about this situation, and she said she would do her best for me, and that's why I decided to trust her and leave it to her. That's terrible. He left his pregnant wife alone and cheated on her, and then stresses her out right before the baby's born asking for a divorce. I think that's more terrible. I agree to the divorce, and if you pay me alimony and child support, I'm not asking for that much money, okay? Alimony and child support, huh? How much do you want? I think I should get twice the average amount. Oh my god, you're so greedy. Of course it's all Daniel's fault, so I'll take that much. We discussed this with my lawyer. You can also get a lawyer or something. You can negotiate a reduction, you know. Fine. You just want money, right? I'll give it to you then. I'll ask for it in one lump sum. Okay, whatever. I guess paying you is better than my son being with a useless greedy hag. He'll be happy with his younger new wife. But she is a man, right? What? A man? I knew you knew it, and that's why you asked her to be your lawyer. This is not fair at all. Even if the new wife was male or female, I'll be sure to change the alimony. I'm not getting it from Daniel alone. Wait a minute. Did you just say his girlfriend is a man? Oh, you didn't know? I guess Daniel doesn't know either, or maybe he's hiding it from you. What? I don't understand. Explain it to me. Well, I did some investigation. I mean, not me, but my lawyer. And it turns out she's a man in the family register. What are you talking about? She's obviously a woman. Don't be rude to Daniel's partner. It's amazing what surgical techniques can do these days, isn't it? Even if you're registered as a man, it's possible to have a perfectly female body. You're kidding. That means my son is with someone's son? She's really a man? Yes. Why? How? I don't know anything about that. It's up to him, isn't it? Sex is a choice. But what kind of partner he chooses is also his choice. And maybe Daniel knew about it. Wait. Then what about grandchildren? What about our heir? I thought she was a young lady who can have a baby boy. 
That's why I supported their relationship and the alimony and the child support. And now you're telling me that she's a man? Well, that's not my problem. If she can't have kids, then what's the point of all of it? I don't know. Hey, Stella, I just realized this time it was my son's fault. I'm sorry that I was hard on you too. My son feels bad about it too, you know? It's the man's fault who tricked my son. So can you think about it again? I'm sorry, I need to feed my baby. I'm having a hungry son waiting for me, so if you'll excuse me. Son? What? What do you mean? You said the baby was a girl. The ultrasound result was wrong. When the baby was born, it was actually a boy. I heard this kind of thing happens from time to time. It doesn't matter which sex he is, the baby is still cute. No. Wait. That makes him an heir. Oh dear. You did great. You did it. You're the best wife. Huh? What's with you all of a sudden? I don't feel so comfortable. I don't know what you're thinking, but I'm getting divorced, so he won't be your heir. Wait a minute. Let's forget about this divorce. I'll contact my daughter and talk to her. I'll make sure to tell Daniel as well. Daniel is a man too. If he finds out that the baby is a boy, I'm sure he will come back to you. He will love you again, and you two can be a wonderful couple again. I don't need a scumbag to be my baby's father. Let's just go ahead with a divorce. No matter what you say, I will not get back to my husband. Please listen to me. I'm sorry about everything, even my son. He's sorry about what he did too. He's going to be a father for the first time, you know? He's just gone a little crazy under pressure. Please forgive him. You're going to be raising a child for the first time. I can see that he's going crazier in the future, so no thank you. He'll be a bad influence on my son. I beg you, please reconsider the divorce. You're the one who initiated it. I will apologize for everything. Of course, you need to apologize to me. You and your son did terrible things to me. Just apologize and take full responsibility. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to go feed my son. Oh, Lord. Please talk to me. Please. Hey, Stella, my loving daughter-in-law. Please let me hold my air. Please. Thanks to my lawyer's efforts, I was able to get as much alimony and child support as I could. I was able to get a divorce. Of course, I got custody of my son. I will raise my son so well that he does not turn out to be a lousy man like his father. After that, my ex-husband seemed to get very attached to the person he was cheating with. He ended up quitting his job, and he's in debt to pay me the alimony and the child support. I heard that Daniel and his mom are on the run from debt collectors. 